this will be my review of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the second Harry Potter film. Um, I liked it. I, I liked it. I think it's not as good as the first one because I feel like I feel like it's some ways a rehash of the first one. I feel like I, I don't know how the book went, but I think like this film, especially with like the like kind of like the final moments, I think particularly like uh, like similar stuff where like are you know they go down into a mysterious place instead of a instead of an under underground cave it, it's like a it's a, a chamber and that and then they fight and then harry then harry leaves them and fights our villain of the film and, and it felt kind of ro- and i think like some it honestly and, and i kind of felt like this was about the first film it kind of like felt almost like rushed how it was like all of a sudden the villains revealed and then they have like a kind of mini fight with like something else and then it turns out yeah they, our hero wins and i think it's it's the same thing here it's the same exact thing but i think it was cool stabbing the book you know that and i think the flashbacks were cool you know revealing um time tom riddle you know to be you know the guy stuck in the book trying to figure out the chamber of secrets and how it's haunting harry you know of sorts and so i think that was that was, you know, that that stuff. I felt was was cool. Um, definitely, and um, you know, seeing the, um, seeing Malfoy's father definitely seems you know villainous. Uh, I don't, I don't know where they go with him in the series. So you know, happy to find out. And I and I and, I, and just so you know, I'm right now. I've seen three films and I'm at the towards the end of the fourth so I kind of know what you know goes on from here and I think like I think this film it is good it, it is it is good and I think it does off, offer new things you know to it I think um but I but I think like the qualities that were good about the Sorcerer's Stone are good here like I get like the actual part fighting the snakes was cool you know revealing the mysteries about Tom Riddle and about you know Hogwarts was cool at the Quidditch match was cool the characters great as always um but I feel like there's not a lot of unique identity to this film that makes it any so different than the other films other but I think like I guess like introducing of um that ghost girl I forgot who um that ghost kind of girl and I think like the scene where they change where they change their shape to and in, to interrogate Malfoy was cool. Um, I think that uh, the ghost was honestly kind of creepy in some ways, like her vo- her kind of rasped voice of sorts. Um, and then uh, Hermione turning into a kid. So there are some standout moments of this film, but I think not enough to make it any so unique than than any other real Harry Potter film. I feel like. But that doesn't mean it's not a good, like, like, don't get me wrong, I think I still really like it, I just think it's not, it's not to any sort of level that any other, that any other thing that happened in the first film, if you know what I mean. So I think, like, th- there's a lot of cool moments, I think, um, going through the woods with the spiders, you know, it was cool, um, um, I'm trying to think what else you know I lo- liked about it because I, there was a lot of there was a lot of good moments in this film you know fluttered fluttered throughout you know um but yeah I think um in a general sense I, I, I like the film um to 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 say that is very true I think it's not it it holds it holds up. I think the CGI is not, you know, perfect, but I think it, it does hold up in a unique, good, good, good way. Um, and I think like Tom trying to bring, um, trying to bring, um, what's his face, um, uh, Voldemort, Voldemort back. And I think the opening with um, that that uh, that uh, elf guy. Um, trying to, you know, burning the cake and stuff, you know, that, that's, that, that stuff is all cool, you know, it's, it's, it really makes this film, you know, a cohesive, great film, 
And, um, yeah, I really like it. I think, um, even though it plays into a lot of tropes in, that the first film established, it did it good. It did it. It did it good enough to say I enjoyed it, but, like, towards the end, I started to realize, wow, this is quite similar to, to Sorcerer's, Sorcerer Stone, which I think because it was the original, I think it did this kind of idea better than, than this film. I think, um, introducing that new, you know, danger, mystic arts teacher. You know, it's cool, definitely suspicious, and, you know, to figure out, yeah, he was a fraud. He was, you know, not what we think he is. Yeah, I think it was a cool kind of twist of, of sorts. Um, so, yeah, I, I really like this film. I think, like, kind of like the bird coming in to save the day. Yeah, it was cool, and, you know, bringing Hermione back, and all that stuff. It was really, it was really good. I think there was enough new new things to make it say like it's still a really good film that i really enjoyed but i think like when you really take back and assess these two films on, on its own i think like this film definitely you could see very much you know a lot of different similarities and kind of my concern after this film was is every film just going to be a rehash of the, the previous film but after seeing two, three and a, three and three quarters of of you know, three films, and uh, towards I'm in towards the end of the fourth film. I realized it does it does seem to get better, um, and you more unique. And because like the first film kind of kind of felt like a school mystery to solve, but then towards to where I'm at is it feels like you're truly you're saving kind of the world, and it feels like as the series goes on, the, the film the film series kind of feels like it's you know you're trying to solve things on such a broader scope. I feel like. Um, so yeah, um, and I think like, uh, oh, Ron's sister was kind of a interesting thing to throw the book being possessed by Tom, and I think like, it was cool kind of seeing like the blood on the walls, and you don't know who did it, and you're kind of worried, you're kind of anxious of what's it going to be, and I think like this, this series kind of feels like a cool kind of fantasy mystery series of sorts, so I really enjoyed that, so yeah, stay tuned for our videos, come right at you.